If we want consistent arc, we've got to understand where arc comes from. And there's a, a few different factors in creating arc. The big ones that people miss. People always talk about, got to use your legs more, you got to hold your fall through. Legs are important, but they're not actually the big arc source. And follow through happens after the ball's left your hand. If we're trying to fix the follow through, we're not catching any of the causes for it. We wanna focus on your hand position, getting your hand underneath the basketball with your elbow low enough that we still have room to lift. We've gotta lift our elbow while our hand is underneath the basketball in order to create arc. One thing to watch out for if you've got flat arc, number one, does your set point just get to your chin and then you end up going forward from there? That's what a lot of young players do. And then older players will tend to bring the ball back behind their head. Their elbow is already lifted, but they haven't started shooting yet. So their, their elbow isn't able to lift anymore. They're, they're forced into a forward motion from there. So we gotta make sure that we're avoiding those two ideas. And then the last thing is we want to make sure that we're moving through that set point. Okay, so getting the ball moving in one direction up and forward through the set point and not having it move backwards towards and then having to change the direction of the shot. So that set point, if we can get our hand underneath it, our elbow will be low and then we're moving through that up and forward from there.